Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Simin and Okay, I keep talking about my vanity if you haven't seen my video on my vanity transformation I will just link that below but uh, in since you last saw it, I got a mirror right here. Um, I've yet to get the vanity lights on the side and a vanity tray for my perfume. There, I think you can see it now. Would be next on the to-do list. So it's all coming together, but it is coming slowly. So I'm very excited for that. So today's video, I'm gonna keep it real. What's happening right now in my life is my mustache is growing back and that happens every two weeks or so. Right now I don't want to wax it because I have like a special event coming up and I'm going to save the wax for then. If I wax it now, it's going to be peach fuzz then and then it's going to be too short to wax off. Yeah. So instead what I'm going to do is film a talk through tutorial on how to hide your mustache with makeup in the meantime. So the focus is going to be on uh, eliminating the look of the hairs and the disc pigmentation and hyperpigmentation around here as well. All right, so let's just get right into it. So let me zoom in. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. And show you what I'm working with. You'll see the hairs are growing in nice. Uh-huh, there you go, okay. The hairs are growing this way, okay? But even when I smile, you can see it kind of goes into the creases. So what I'm first gonna do is hide the disc pigmentation. Even when you wax off the hair, there's still gonna be a little bit grayness happening there. So what you wanna do is you take a neutral undertone concealer. I'm gonna use the um, Erase Paste by Benefit in shade number three deep to just hide that and again I'm not gonna put it on heavily because this is a very thick and emollient concealer so all I'm gonna do is just pat it on uh, and then you'll see it covers a bit and I mentioned the creases do not go into the creases because when you smile your makeup is going to look it's gonna crease on you so even here it's this is like pushing it so I'm gonna Blend that out a little and we'll handle that. So I go all the way up the nose, doing the crease check every so often, and that should be good. This is optional if you want to go down here. Um, usually I don't, and we're good. So when I zoom out, you can see there's a little bit of improvement. You don't see the grayness, but it looks kind of unnatural. I'm going to lock this in place with a foundation that is thick and heavy, uh, but it's gonna dry matte. So the foundation that comes to mind is the Double Wear uh, Foundation by Estee Lauder. So I'm going to put that one on after this has dried for a bit uh, and you'll notice it won't be as tacky or emollient. So it'll dry down, give it a few minutes, and then we can carry on to the next step. Okay, so now that the erase paste has dried down a bit, it took maybe like seven minutes to dry down, not too bad. What I'm gonna do now is practice some strategic highlighting. So I have two shades of the Double Wear foundation right now, 4W1 and 4W2. So I'm gonna put the darker foundation around the perimeter of my face and over here as well. So the last thing I wanna do is highlight this area or bring attention to specifically the upper lip area. So I'm going to put the darker foundation around the outside, including here on the nose, and I'm going to highlight using a lighter foundation. So I've gone ahead and put on the darker shade around the perimeter of my face, my forehead, nose, um, my jaw area, etc. I actually did not put any on here yet because I want that to be the last thing I do because I want to be a little bit careful. Let me zoom you in. You want to use a thick foundation because it's going to hold its place and not come off throughout the day and having to go back in and blend this area can be a little bit annoying. So let's skip that right from the get-go and use a thicker foundation. I'm using the Double Wear, of course. You can use other thick foundations such as the NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I know the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation is great if you want like a drugstore option. So I'm just blending this in. Okay. 
Okay, so I've added the foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put just a, oh, just a little bit on the upper lip area. Um, again, not too much makeup because you don't want that place to cake up. So let's just do a little bit right there and then blend it out. Blend it out. Oh. We're blending every other area. And you're good. So the pressure here, I'm applying less pressure as well. So already you can see like the darkness, the shadow, the mustache hairs are gone. Unless like I really zoom into my face, which you know no one's gonna be that up close in your face. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the lighter foundation in this area here instead of adding concealer. Because I notice concealer creates too much contrast between this area and like the upper lip area. And the reason for that is the more natural it looks, the less, um, the less of a standout this area is going to be. Because keep in mind, I'm not going to highlight this area. If you add highlight, especially like a powder highlight, um, especially like around the cupid's bow, What's going to happen is that area is going to turn gray very fast and it might not seem like that big of a deal at face value but when you're very far away you're going to see that 5 o'clock shadow and it's going to look gray and it's going to make this area look gray as well and you don't want that at all. So I'm going to skip out on the powder highlight, very important, and just go ahead and add the liquid foundation that's a little bit lighter under the under eyes. Okay, so I added a little bit right there, not going into like my creases or anything. So just, I'm putting it on right now. I'm gonna blend it out after, but you wanna make sure to get in like the darkest areas. Okay, and then blend it out from there. Already you can see that it's looking very high lit. And my eyes, they look smaller because I don't have this dark area happening under there, which is good. So I'm just going to add a little bit more under this eye and then I'll zoom out and show you what it looks like. Okay, I also wanted to put a note here. You can see I concentrated most of the foundation right under um, the under eye where like the darkest part is and then blend it out from there. The reason being is if you start over here and blend it up or what have you, you're not gonna get as much coverage. So when you blend out from here, you're gonna notice it covers the under eye a lot more. And the reason why I didn't use the Benefit Erase Paste there is because I don't have like a lot of darkness because I've been taking care of my skin honestly lately and I've noticed like the areas lightened up a little bit. Um, and also the Erase Paste helps with like handling hairs and that's the whole point of this video because I obviously don't have hairs under my under eye. It's a lot easier to manage, so I don't have to put as much, or any at all in this case, any erase paste there. Okay, so I've gone ahead and highlight. So you can see, like, if I did bring any lighter foundation around here, it's gonna look great. You don't want that. So what I did just under here, it looks fine. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so now it is nicely blended out. This is how I want the foundation to sit on my face. Now, because I have dry skin, I'm not gonna add any additional powder on top. Uh, especially you'll notice around this area, if you do have hair there, the powder is gonna cling onto it. And if you look close enough, you can see that like there is powder like clinging on for dear life onto each one of your hair so I don't want to go through any of that I'm just gonna leave this as is and because I made sure to prep my skin beforehand the makeup is gonna sit nicely on the face for the rest of the day so if you want you can go ahead and add your contour and all that like I mentioned I would just skip out on the powder highlight over here 
you don't want that grayness go ahead and put it here if you want wherever but I'm just gonna fix up a few things like the brows okay so what I did just now I just ran my NYX tinted brow mascara in black through my brows and then I added a bronzer very key to note a bronzer not a contour because I don't want any like shadows on my face and then people seeing the shadow there and then having it like associated with this shadow like none of that so what I did was I ran this bronzer through my face this is um, the sleek face form palette in dark just this shade right here so it's not like it's very warm it's not cool at all like I, I would not use this <laughs> as my contour at all so this one I just like ran through the perimeter of my face here the three and then the E um, just to give my face a little bit more dimension you can add blush if you wanted from here um, but I'm just gonna skip to the important step so I make up I'm keeping it very simple just to give you an idea I, I put nothing in here so I'm gonna keep this blank go ahead and put like false lashes if you want but I'm keeping it very simple because I want the lips to be the focus uh, a great tip to add <clears throat> in conjunction to what we've already done so far is to add a dark lip the reason being is um, when you have something darker on your lips, it's going to take away from the darkness here. So right now it looks okay because I've got like a little bit of pink and like a little bit of brown gray on my lips. But when we add like a darker color, like a maroon or something, you'll really see the mustache area has completely been eliminated. So let's try that on right now and see how it looks. Okay, so the color I'm using as a lip liner is the Wet n Wild Lip Pencil in Chestnut, I believe, 711. Um, and this one is a maroon pencil, yes, but it's very warm and I'm keeping away from the cool tones because I don't want any like shadows or anything like anything that's cool or contoury it's gonna like your eyes are gonna go straight over here up here none of that so just gonna line it fill it in and then put a lipstick that's also a warm deep color as well okay so the lipstick I ended up putting was max diva and it is a little bit sheeny so that's not too bad that's fine um, so I would suggest uh, keep it matte or not like just don't keep it overly shiny because that's gonna attract unnecessary attention to the mouth area I know you're thinking dark lipstick isn't gonna attract attention good point but that's gonna distract away from this area which is the whole point right don't make it unnecessarily complicated than it needs to be for example no like shiny shiny lipstick it'll draw excess attention you don't need to overline the lips because that's also gonna attract attention to the mouth area the lip color the shade and um the warmth cool factor that's really just to take away from this area that's it so if you want to distract and put the attention on the lips that's fine but not at the expense of everything we put into here cool okay so let me zoom in now that you see what all this looks like let me zoom in so you can see the difference. So, when we zoom in, you'll see, if you look, there's not a lot of darkness happening. So, we've kind of covered that up. If anything, you can see like the follicles, if you get in like real close. But most of that was covered up with the Benefit Erase Paste. And the last few tips moving forward, if you're going to eat, please, please be very gentle in padding uh, napkins around this area. Uh, if you can, just use like the lips area if you must. Um, so that's why I suggest not nothing glossy, so nothing like glops on and comes off with it. Do you know what I mean? And also, um, if you're gonna take any photos, try to take them like this instead of like this because you'll notice if you look down you'll see there's a little bit of like shadow going on versus if it's like this not so much okay okay guys so that's all the tips I have I know if you apply each one they will work out for you and if you have any more tips please leave them down in the comments below I'd love to hear what you have to share if you could give this video a thumbs up and a like I would really appreciate it if you like my content feel free to subscribe as well I have a lot more videos coming on the way this summer so um, you know where the button is and I will see you in my next video
Bye. You know what? I want long, healthy hair, and I'm gonna show you how to get some. So here, I'm gonna present you some tips, some tricks. Very easy, very simple. It is like stupid simple, the tips I'm gonna give you. Okay, so before I get started, let me give you a quick rundown on my hair. Here's a little throwback video to what my hair looked like two and a half years ago. You can see it's grown a lot since then. And it's even longer once you straighten it out. It's 20 inches from root to tip, 